So I was working on a video on anti-tank guided missiles and I was inspired to play the Chrysanthema. Now, despite what the title might say, I actually haven't had very good luck with this thing. Yes, it gets a ground radar. In fact, it's the only tank in the game that has a fire control system that works against other tanks. That being said, I find it's fairly situational. Like, yes, it can see through smoke and forests and stuff like that. Most of the time, you can usually just see them anyway. I think probably the best thing about it is the fact that it gets insane missiles. Now, looking at it, you might think it's like the M901, but I find it's not very comparable because it has 30 degrees of gun depression. This has five. Also, if you hear uh, thunder in the background, it's storming. Uh, so I'll probably just put some ODST music to, you know, help fit that aesthetic. As I said, it can't really abuse terrain like the M901, but it is pretty fast. It uses, I believe, the BMP3 chassis, so it definitely goes. Also, the launcher doesn't stow when you move. You can't fire on the move, but it does make your reaction times a lot faster. Damn. I never seem to do very well in ATGM vehicles when I record a video. One eternity later. Uh, <laughs> why did I do have his bombs on such a high delay? Someone's very upset with me. Alright. I just want a map where I can show off the ground radar. <laughs> Give me, like, European province or something. I'm sure that's the first time anyone has ever asked to get that, but... Getting something on radar, but it won't lock it. Oh, there we are. And it... <laughs> it didn't kill him. I hate this sight arrangement so much. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give this thing an independent launcher, but make it so that you can't actually use it hold down. What on earth? We are almost out of ammo, but we have five kills, so that's good. Don't get me wrong, by the way, this thing has a ton of missiles. I'm just a really bad shot. There is an AMX-30 up there. Wait. Oh, it was... <laughs> so stupid. The site didn't have enough depression. A lot of SPAA. My kill count's a bit inflated. Nine kills, jeez. We actually almost have enough for a nuke. I think after we cap this point, we will. Probably won't have enough time to spawn it, though. Assuming we don't get bombed right now, which we absolutely will. Please cap, please cap, please cap. Yes! Oh, we lived anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know, I'll give him the kill for that. And I just hope they don't have any Sergeant Yorks up. Oh, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop the bomb, drop the bomb. Wow, that was so off target. <laughs> well, so much for that whole bad luck thing. Now watch every game after that just be like, one kill, that's it. What? <laughs> what was that? Why? <laughs> I haven't even done anything. A lot of people say, hey Spookston, you don't seem to have a good time in any vehicle you play. And I think, yeah, it's, it's probably just not the vehicle. I think it's just the game, honestly. 
That dude was doing something. Oh, turn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh... Six hours later. I just want a game where I get more than two kills. Please. Please stop giving me city maps. Oh, that scared me. I don't know how I'm still alive. Oh, this is not cash money. Alright. Okay, I was going to play until I could show off the fire control system, but I cannot get a single long-range map. I can't get a single map that fits this playstyle. So yeah, it's not a bad vehicle. Radar is kind of a gimmick though. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.